Welcome to the Augur 8 Knot meeting for April 22nd, the post Chaos Con, post OSS Summit North America edition. Thank you for all who could be here. Um, Don, I think you have a reminder at the top of the agenda. I do, yeah. So I uh, just wanted to remind people that we are uh, looking to rename the bus factor metric. So there's a, a poll that you can uh, vote in. So it's, uh, uh, so we are a consensus-based community. So the top vote getter may or may not actually win, but it's a good way for us to see where people are on renaming that metric. So you can click on that link to vote. Um, I also dropped another reminder into the agenda that the deadline for Open Source Summit EU, which is in Vienna in September, the CFP deadline is next week, April 30th. So you still have a few more days to get uh, proposals in if you want to give a talk. Oh. Kelly is joining us. I thought Kelly was on a plane. Welcome, I, Kelly. I, I'm flying out this afternoon. Oh, okay. Drop the minutes in for you. Uh, Don gave us a few reminders about the poll for renaming Bus Factor and the call for proposals on OSS Summit Europe or EU, which is on uh, April 30th, coming right up here in uh, eight days. It's a week from tomorrow, which is the last day of April, for those of you not keeping track of which months have 30 days and which months have 31. For some reason, that's burned in my skull. Uh, the next thing I have on the agenda here today is just to report on the Augur 8 Knot workshop and uh, lightning talks. So we had a had really good participation at the visualization workshop, uh, good partnership from Baturgia, Georg um, helped, helped us through some of the Baturgia visualization stuff. And there was a lot of really positive uh, feedback on, on the Augur 8 Knot stack. Callie, I don't know if you want to add anything specific. Um, I don't really have much specifics, just it's still so soon after and I haven't been able yeah. to do everything, but a lot of great attention and um, people are very excited about the work that we're doing here and hoping to see some new faces around here from some of the conversations we had. Yeah, it's good. Uh, so, and there were, uh, there were a couple of um, talks featuring uh, different folks from the chaos community, uh, some of whom have implemented uh, Nadia, what they call the Nadia classifications. Um, so uh, Isaac Malarski uh, implemented, some, who's one of the Augur maintainers, implemented some endpoints in Augur that helps to help to classify projects in uh, one of five categories, and I should remember them, but uh, Nadia Egbal had uh, four categories in, in her book, uh, Stadium, Club, uh, two others, and then uh, Isaac's team added a uh, fifth one. And so that's being used by uh, a couple of places in the federal government to classify projects according to those uh, different um, classifications and they talked about that both in a few planned talks and also in a couple of lightning talks. So uh, Augur and 8 Knot featured prominently in a couple of different places throughout Open Source Summit North America. And uh, we also got a number of new users of the platform uh, while we were there. Oh wait, can I, sorry, can I just add to the, the Remy stuff? Remy yeah. Stuff? I didn't realize that those were implemented as as endpoints in Augur. That's that's really interesting. It, it's after listening to their their talk about how they were classifying projects, it made me wish I had thought of that when I was working at VMware because it was a really it was a really <laughs> interesting way of of looking at different types of projects from a metrics perspective differently. And so I was. Yeah, I was. I really, I really liked that talk. But yeah, I didn't realize that those were implemented as Augur endpoints. Yeah, super cool. It, yeah, they they get the class. They get the 
the technical data that they use for the classification out of auger endpoints and then their presentation kind of described and i don't remember it's i don't remember the details to the number but there's a range of contributors to um contributors to something else to forks contributors to forks that they use as a ratio along uh, many dimensions and there's a few other comparisons that they do but that's how they kind of those are two of the key metrics they use to slot things in um, and then they have a and they're gonna i asked them about this in one of the talks if they had a an implementation guide so that uh, effectively what you can do is if you implement it and that they're working on the implementation guide so the repository level implementation guide is not something that they published yet however they mentioned that they'll be doing that shortly and and so the effect of these these classifications is you can actually create a badge on your repository to put it into their classification if you want to and and i thought that was particularly useful as well because it's a helpful signal to a newcomer about the the scope and nature of what's being worked on and i would expect i don't i don't know for sure but i would expect there are some categories that are really great for newcomers and some categories that are perhaps the project is very big and difficult to navigate and others where the project is very small and perhaps doesn't need a lot of contributions so there's this it gives you a range and I would expect the sweet spot for newcomers is somewhere in the middle, but I haven't sussed that out myself yet. It's just an, an intuition from seven years of uh, doing chaos. So, yeah, I think that's, uh, that's about all I wanted to, to cover there. It's, uh, sorry, well, you I, were think I, sorry I, inter I interrupted you because you were getting ready to talk about new users for Augur. Oh yeah. Yeah. We have, um, we have like, uh, 12 or 12 to 15 uh, new users and about uh, 50,000 new repositories in the public instance of Augur, which is awesome. And uh, also sucked up a lot of the energy behind that uh, instance here for the last several days. Um, so yeah, it's, um, that's, that's going great. Uh, and that's, that's about all I have to say about that. And if there's no other agenda items, uh, I don't know, Lammy, that we have done a lot, but when you weren't here last time, we did go over your Figma. And I don't know if anything's changed or if there was anything that you wanted to highlight from it. But I know from talking to Kelly, forgive me if I'm calling you out, Kelly. Um, uh, okay. Okay, hold on. I guess it's asking. Yeah, no again. work has been done on my side. Um, yeah. It's probably no, going to be at least another week before I'm really able to come up with any type of a plan of how we're going to get this done. I know this is pretty much our main priority, but um, I'm yeah. pretty much the only active developer for this project right now. And so I'm needing to... <laughs> only so much you can do. Yeah, I'm just, I, just trying to figure out... The, my first priority right now is figuring out the new normal and kind of figuring out the balance with everything. And this is um, the top of our priority list. Yeah. And I didn't, and, and I was just, <laughs> all I was going to say is I, and I apologize for putting you on a spot like that, but I, I was going to say that since we were at OSS NA last week, nothing would have, no progress would have been made since the last time this, oh, yeah. this group I mean, I don't, met, to, I don't feel met together. <laughs> okay. Um, and Lami, I don't know if you want to walk us through any of, because there were some pretty significant changes that we kind of tried to fumble through ourselves. So I don't know if you want to walk us through any of the new things from a couple weeks ago. Yes, um, you can and, follow me. And, and um, uh, should I give you the share or should I you try just to do the follow? Feed. Yeah, just click my name. My, oh, okay. Yeah. Click here. Uh, is it, am I the right, is it, was that the right thing to do? Let me go back to Zoom. Okay, you can't see me. I'm not sure why. Oh, wait a minute. I think, I think we can now. Can you see me now? I think so. I also can't see you. Hmm. Wait a minute. Oh, wait a minute. Oh, following Emmanuel. I'm following the wrong person. Yeah, I only see I Emmanuel and you. 
Can you see me? No, I'm wondering okay. if uh, I if I wondering if I have the right link. Uh, I did the... change the link this morning, but um, I I changed the folder where this is saved, but I'm not sure it, it would change the link. Let me try. Um, the yeah, one sure. the only link that I know of. Sure. I think there's only one. So we'll just have to yeah. See. Maybe just let me try the one on the minutes. Yeah. I'll just try to yeah have to follow Callie's suggestion. Just reload it. See if I get Lamy to follow. Not yet. Um, it's for my end definitely because it's also loading slowly here. I'm trying to reload it and it's loading slowly. Okay. So I, guess it's well, I think um, I see you. Okay, now I'm following you. Okay. Okay. Uh, first, I'd like to introduce Manuel. He joined me um, to work on the designs, and um, we'll be working on it together from now. Uh, oh, so welcome, Manuel. Guess... Manuel. Uh, I guess this is the change um, you've seen. Uh, we were trying out different other styles of how the UI would look, and this is where we're currently at, just making it, taking out lots of, I think the original design had like, it was quite busy. So the intention here is to make it less busy, and we've added something to collapse the side nav. So... um. This can be like centered on the screen and seen without distractions. Then another thing we're trying to do is to create a style guide. And this is this mostly concerns Chaos Africa. We want I mentioned that I'm using the style of the project badging website of the badging websites. And yes. what we want to do now is to create like a a style. Let me use this word inventory with colors <laughs> that developers can also just find in one single location. So we're trying to build it. And then when we complete it, we would implement them in in this design. <laughs> Sorry, I don't know if I, this needs a lot of explanation, but we want to um, start the style guide before we continue the design. But for now, this is how all the screens would look like. No, I yeah. think it's I think it's really helpful to know that there's a style guide and, and how you're thinking about it, because I think Style guides enable an implementer to make choices without compromising uh, the integrity of the design. Um, so, as a you know, as an implementer, I won't just throw a random color in there if I know there's a style guide that provides a, a set of colors to use in in concert with each other. Yeah. Um, so, when we are uh done we would move on to I, I mentioned that we have we've not worked on the login feature and i don't know if i mentioned this sorry and the create group no. feature so after we are done with that we don't need to like complete the style that um like we would still change some things but we want to get it to some extent where we know we're sure of the colors and fonts that we're using and then we'd move on to other pages so that we don't change a lot of things. But this week we'll be done with that and then move on to the other features by next week. This, this is awesome. I, I I love it. Is there any more that you and want to show us? Uh, nothing, just if you have feedback concerning how this looks, um, you to take your feedback. Yeah, I like the collapsible oh, left. I like the collapsible left nav. That's a very nice addition. I think people will want that. So, thank you, thank you for putting that together. And is yeah. Emmanuel? Emmanuel, you, we didn't really give you a chance to introduce yourself yet. <laughs> or, yeah, are you a designer that's working with Lamy? Yeah. So um, I just joined Kills. I think about three weeks ago. And um, welcome. I Found about Argos, and I think I fell in love with it because it sort of aligned with uh, my field of design. So I'm a growth designer, 
Um, I'm a product designer, but focus on growth. So I find love in data and uh, combining it with um, behavioral science and um, enhancing design for growth. So I sort of love what learning has been doing, and um, I'm so pumped to join Argos, to contribute to Argos and um, see what we can build out of it. So I don't know if that does justice to my introduction. And I'm yeah. basically. You're based where? In the UK. UK, okay. Nice to meet you, Emmanuel. Welcome. Yeah. Um, and thanks for the update, Lamy. I don't have anything else on the agenda for this early morning on a Monday after OSSNA, but it, does anyone else have anything they want to cover here this morning or afternoon, depending on your location? Okay, if not, I will just give everyone back a whole bunch of your post Open Source Summit North America time and uh, you can proceed with your day and we'll see you next week. Sounds good. See everybody next week. See y'all. Bye. 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 Bye.